Hi everyone! I am so excited to show you my Darling Charming Doll Bed remake that I have been working on for the last three days. I wanted to come up with a bed that was just like her, dainty in appearance, but more than what it seems. And I wanted to give a nod to her love of wearing armor and wielding swords and also have it still look like a bed fit for a princess. Now, let me remind you what the old bed looked like. This is the old bed. One of my YouTube subscribers, Lucy Punter, pointed out that it looked plain, and I agreed with her, so I am taking this thing apart. Goodbye, old bed. I pried off the headboard. There's still some styrofoam stuck on. I'm going to add this wooden heart to it. First, painted it blue. Then I'm gonna add this bling from Jolie's Boutique. I'm also going to add these wings and a crown from this set of Ideaology adornments because I wanna make that rebel emblem, the Ever After High rebel emblem. Added bling to the heart. Cleaned off the styrofoam on the headboard. We'll need to repaint that part. I'm going to hot glue this heart to the middle. And now we're done. Added the wings and the crown and we have ourselves a proper Ever After High Rebel emblem. Next, I pried off the crown from the footboard. The new footboard is a wooden shield. And repainted, I'm sorry, painted the shield. Silver on the back and sides, baby blue on the front, and pink around the edges. I will be hot gluing this crown to the middle. I wanted to get swords. It's impossible to get swords for dolls. I've looked everywhere, Etsy, eBay, and there are some, but the selection's not great. So I bought two mutant ninja turtles and took their swords, painted the hilts baby blue, and I will also be using these silver paper roses. And this is the footboard I came up with. It's princessy, but also fit for a knight. Saved the old styrofoam block with the sheet still on it. I wanted to make the bed higher, so I added another styrofoam block, hot glued her former blanket to it, and hot glued the two top and bottom halves together. Added some pink lace trim that I found at Joanne Fabrics, and to finish it off, added a silver ribbon to go around all the sides. To remake her blanket, I originally piled everything up together just to see if I could create something that reminded me of her dress. So there's a silver piece, there's a bunch of lacy trim, there's even the trim from Farrah Goodfairy's bed, there's this cool piece of silver ribbon trim that's made of circles, and a piece of ribbon that looks like chains. So starting with the silver fabric and trimming it, and adding a rectangle of the light blue to the top, and cut the scaly fabric at an angle and hot glued that. Added layers of the lace, hot gluing those on to the one side. And now both sides are done at that angled, uh, well, in that angled way. Added this crinkly silver ribbon to the sides added the chainmail looking ribbon to the top. Now I wanna add this circular ribbon. I don't even know what to call this. It's, it's a ribbon with silver circles on it. Reminds me of armor. And I'm wondering if I can do it like a cross because that reminds me of a knight. And now we are almost done. I'm going to add one last thing, which is this little pink gem and one of those silver paper roses found for her pillow a bling monogram, the letter D, cut out two rectangles of fabric, silver and light blue, going to hot glue one on top of the other. Did that, cut it, every, cut it in half, now I have two pieces. On the top piece I'm going to add the D using this silver ribbon that looks like fleur-de-lis. I'm going to trim the top and bottom of the front side of her pillow and add the silver crinkly ribbon to the sides. The other half, I'm going to hot glue the blue lace trim. 
Now I'm going to hot glue the two halves together. I will first glue three sides, stuff cotton balls in the middle, then hot glue the fourth side, and voila, here is Darling's pillow. Wanted to add some poles to her bed, grab some thicker dowel rods at a quarter inch, painted them baby blue. Also grabbed some finial caps and painted those silver. Hot glued the dowel rods into the finial caps. Also wanted to grab this bag of artistic moldings, which I thought would look really nice. Going across her bed, I chose a kind that looks kind of like shields. Painted that silver painted the shield part light blue. You can see I didn't do the best job. Then added some pink paint, and now I've added the pink lace trim as well. And now I've hot glued the bed to the footboard. As you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. Now I've added the poles to the footboard, and now it's less wobbly. By the way, I am showing you my messy crafting area. Uh, because many of you asked me to, so be prepared for some footage of it. Added the poles to the part where the headboard goes, and now I've got to just add the headboard. I did that, now I've hot glued the artistic molding pieces to each side, and I've hot glued some more silver paper roses to make the bed look more finished. This piece is really just a piece of lace, the blue ribbon trim, the silver circles trim, and a crown hot glue together. And I'll be adding this to the end of her bed here on top. Wanted to add some curtains. Found this great piece of blue lace. And I've added curtains and voila, we are done. How do you guys like Darling Charming's new bed? I'm showing you an aerial view here. And uh, now let's put Darling's new bed into her room that she shares with Rosabella. And I think it looks really, really, really wonderful, except it makes Rosabella's bed look a little plain by comparison. So guess whose bed I'm going to probably have to remake next. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again.